The Rams are going to absolutely crush the 49ers this weekend. Let me tell you why. So here we are with the Rams versus 49ers game. And you can see here the matchup predictor has it for the Rams of 59.8%. Um, 49ers uh, having a 39.7% chance. Um, and that's basically just according to ESPN's football power index. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Uh, it doesn't mean that the Rams are just going to win because this says so. Um, however, uh, the Vegas doesn't see it that way as a Rams. 60% victory. They actually have the 49ers winning by a point and a half right now um, with the money coming in on the 49ers. Um, so we can see here uh, the Rams have a lot of people that are questionable. We have Brian Allen questionable. We have Kobe Durant questionable. David Long uh, mostly in the secondary. Uh, Jordan Fuller and even Darion Kendrick who played well last week um, and now we might even have to uh, worry about him. Uh, in terms of the 49ers, Trent Williams is out um, and then we have Aziz al Shier out as well. And then Eric Armstead and is questionable as well. Those are the notable ones. Um, looking at the team stats, we can see here the Rams have been scoring about 20 points per game. Uh, not as good as last year. Uh, the 49ers, though, only 15 points per game. Also not, not as good as last year. And points allowed, the Rams not doing too hot. Uh, 23 points allowed. That might be skewed a little bit because of the Bills absolutely routing us um, in the week one. Um, and then the 49ers actually only allowing 12 points per game. Um, and that is absolutely insane. Uh, in terms of total yardage, it's very close. The Rams have 326 yards, 49ers 337. A lot more uh, passing yards for the Rams uh, than the 49ers, but the 49ers are absolutely whooping our butts in terms of rushing. Um, now, in terms of yards allowed, the Rams are letting way too many passing yards and run rushing yards um, at 362, while the 49ers are doing very well there, 246. Um, and who would have thought it would be the 49ers with the absolute uh, terrifying defense um, while the Rams have Bobby Wagner, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, um, etc. Um, we do have a lot of injuries right now and that could be a very big reason but um, yeah that's kind of what we're looking at at the moment. Um, now Let's move into um, the the Rams, uh, just how they're doing. Um, so th they lost to the Bills. The Falcons, obviously, that game shouldn't have been as close as it was. A lot of garbage time points um, that blocked punt. And then uh, we beat the Cardinals pretty handedly, but that should have been a much easier game for the Rams. I don't know really what happened. They didn't even score a touchdown, and it was so close. So um, other than that, um, the 49ers, uh, they lost to the Bears week one, uh, beat the Seahawks. Hawks extremely handily. Um and then a uh, loss to the Broncos by one point last week was a nail biter. Uh, but uh, I mean, they held to the Broncos to only 11 points and you can see that they have not let anyone score more than 20 points on them this year. And that's something I think will change today. Um, but let's get into the stats. You can see here that uh, Matthew Stafford not doing too hot. He only has 761 yards, which is 250 yards per game. That's okay, uh, but not when you know, you're throwing in garbage time like this. Uh, and then, uh, the touchdowns, uh, there's four touchdowns and five interceptions. That's way too many interceptions. The rating is okay at 86, uh, but overall, he needs to really button up and figure it out. Um, and I mean, 72% completion percentage, I believe that's the best in the league, uh, but he just is really being costly with his interceptions. Um, in terms of rushing, I think Cam Akers is definitely going to have his breakout week this week. I think he's a good start in fantasy. Um, however, I get the hesitancy. I have him in um, one of my leagues. I'm very hesitant with him as well. Um, and then Cooper Cup, obviously uh, doing amazing with three touchdowns, uh, 280 yards, and 20 rushing yards and one touchdown there as well. Um, so overall, just doing extremely well. In terms of sacks, uh, Aaron Donald with two, Bobby Wagner with two, um, and interceptions, obviously D Jalen Ramsey um, has one, Troy Hill, even Terrell Lewis has one, and Kobe Durant. Um, but yeah, in terms of the stats for the 49ers, um, they're doing well. I mean, uh, Trey Lance went down, obviously, week two, uh, and Jimmy Garoppolo has stepped in, and he's done well, but he needs to put up more points than he has been doing if he wants to um, somehow win that job back. Two touchdowns, one interception, a very costly interception as well. Um, and then Debo Samuel, very underwhelming here um, with uh, only 100 yards rushing and 131 yards uh, receiving. I would expect that receiving uh, 
uh, to go up. I mean, 100 yards um, in three games for a wide receiver is is good, uh, but he only has about two touchdowns on the on the year. Uh, or sorry, uh, he only has one touchdown on the year. I would expect th those numbers to go up if you drafted him in fantasy. I am sorry, uh, but yeah, I mean, um, other than that, Jeff Wilson is actually looking pretty good as a running back, and then Brandon Ayuk is looking pretty solid as well. Uh, we'll see if he takes an uptick here. Um, in terms of sacks, uh, they have Nick Bosa has four, doing absolutely great, um, and then they have three interceptions across the board. Um, so that, that's what we're looking at in terms of statistics. Uh, when we look at PFF, I know a lot of people don't like PFF, uh, but the Rams are ranked number three um, overall in offense, eight defense seventh um and then special teams 23rd honestly you should bring that down we sucked on special teams uh but i mean overall just a, a good overall team um and then if you look at the 49ers uh, i don't remember how to get back to them um, 49ers, here we are. You can see that the 49ers are tied for 11th with a 29th offense in the first defense. So um, very much one-sided for them, it looks like, in terms of PFF. Now, if we look at um, the uh, these two teams, we can see here uh, that or sorry, let's look at the summary first. We can see here that the market has moved. Um, at one point, it was the negative two and a half um, for the 49ers. Now it's moved to one and a half uh, for the 49ers and PFF has it a little bit closer um, than that. Um, and then obviously, if we look at the lineups, we can see here that the 49ers have had pretty good play from their line, better than I expected at least. Uh, uh, George Kittle not doing too well in terms of PFF or any of their wide receivers. Um, they really haven't been playing well as an offense but their line is a pretty good bright spot however we do have Aaron Donald we have Leonard Floyd and although they have been not been grading well this year um, they can turn it on at any moment we also have a very good linebacking core which I did not expect before we got that Bobby Wagner trade he's uh, ranked number two in terms of um, linebackers and then we obviously have uh, Jalen Ramsey one of the top cornerbacks in the league uh, but some issues in the secondary uh, now on the other side of the ball uh, they have a great secondary um, and not a lot of um, not a lot of injuries and they have you know uh, Jimmy Ward Keyshawn Gibson um, and the list goes on and they also have a lot of pressure this is going to be a scary defense for the Rams uh, we'll have to see how no boom holds up um, how um, uh, Alaric Jackson holds up, Rob Havenstein, Coleman Shelton, David Edwards, uh, and obviously Cooper Cup, the number one wide receiver in the league in terms of PFF, um, and he continues to do well. Ben Skoranek has been looking great on tape. Matthew Stafford is grading well, even though I don't think he's been doing too well, in my opinion, this year um, in terms of the picks. Uh, and then we have Cam Akers. So this is going to be a good um, game, in my opinion. Uh, when it comes down to it, I'm going to predict that the Rams win, obviously. I think that the 49ers have a great defense, but the Rams have a great offense and the 49ers have a terrible offense. And I think the Rams are going to take over on defense. Um, lower scoring game, I think it's going to be uh, maybe 24 to 14 uh, in, in favor of the Rams. I really do like the Rams, uh, especially betting this week. I'm definitely going to be putting down a pretty good bet on them. But uh, yeah, that's what I see happening this week. Let me know what you guys see happening in the comment section below. I'm Zach with the Rams fam. I'll see you in the next video.